After the war and the signing of the Treaty of Paris, the British were in a predicament about how to best govern the colony. Consider all of the groups of the people that the British had to deal with. The first group was the First Nations. They feared that they will get no land and be punished for helping the French. The second, the 13 colonies. They were promised the Ohio River Valley if they helped the British during the war. Plus, these people are getting frustrated with the British. More on that story later. The third group was the French. What the heck were the British going to do with a colony filled of French people? The solution was the Royal Proclamation. But what is this Royal Proclamation and how did it help the British solve their predicament? So let's start with the French. What to do, what to do. The British had three choices. One, evict them. So get rid of them. Two, accommodation. Just leave them alone. Three, assimilate and absorb them into the English culture. So what option did the British choose? If you remember Lord Durham, the noble, rich English guy from the last unit, he did not think much of the French. In fact, he thought the French were a people with no history or literature. So if you guessed to assimilate the French, you are right on the money. The Royal Proclamation basically took the French language and religion away. Plus, it kept them from holding any positions in government. French taken care of? Check. Now let us consider the First Nations. The Pontiac Wars are over and the British realize that they have to give the First Nations some things. So an attempt to build a positive relationship with them has begun. The British hand over the Ohio River Valley. First Nations taken care of? Check, check. Next up, the 13 colonies. The land that was promised to them was given to the First Nations because they were the most immediate threat to the British. If the colonists wanted, they could still move to Quebec. The British want to bring in more English people anyways. New France had far too many French people living there. 13 colonies taken care of? Check, check, check. Does anyone see any potential problems with this solution? Does anyone predict any groups being unhappy? Well, you are smarter than from the beginning of the year if you can do this. In a nutshell, the 13 colonies and the French are mad at the British and the First Nations people are happy. The French. Now you can just imagine how the French reacted. That's right, they were rootin' tootin' spittin' nails mad. If you have learned anything about the French, we know the French will never be English. Of course, the English will never be French too. The French did not want to give up their language and culture to become English. There were some terms of the Royal Proclamation. The first one was New France became the province of Quebec and became much smaller. Number two, a system of British laws and cuts replaced the French systems. Number three, civil government replaced the French military government. Number four, the government would consist of a governor and a council of advisors appointed by the British. Number five, the Catholic Church lost its ability to tith, which was collecting money. Catholics were not allowed to sit on the council of advisors or hold senior jobs in the government. The Royal Proclamation gave a huge piece of land to the First Nations. This included the Ohio River Valley. First Nations are happy because they have what they want, land and the peace to live without interference. This leaves the 13 colonies. The colony needed the land for farming and a growing population. The Royal Proclamation prevented settlement west of the Appalachians, which was the Ohio River Valley, and forced colonists who wanted the land to move to Quebec. Think about this for a moment. Not only is the land promised been taken away, colonists now have to live with a bunch of French. And don't forget, this is not the only thing that the British are doing to make the 13 colonies mad. More on that story coming soon. Well, two out of three isn't bad, right? Just ask Meatloaf. Treats to the students who figure out the musical reference I am making.